lizard people. They secretly run the world, shapeshift into human form. They try to read my mind, but I'm clever. Subvert, covert, whatever the word is, I'm clever. However, even though they can't read my mind and control my brain waves, they still exert control over me because I'm part of their world. So to keep them happy, I shall be painting one of their ancient Aztec ancestors, Kixi Taka, the diviner. And hopefully they'll be so pleased with it that when I die, they will let me escape the Saturn moon matrix prison of consciousness we live in. So let's crack on with it, shall we? So with this one, we're going to be trying something new. I've heard people bang on about these contrast paints a lot, so I thought, why not give them a try? To do this, I started with white primer, which I'm not usually used to, but the idea is to paint the skin just using this contrast paint. Let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, this wasn't the result I was looking for, so instead I thought I'd do a base coat of Void Shield Blue and then try adding the contrast paint afterwards. Oh, fuck! I've spilled all me, all me wash stuff! I didn't spill all of it, just like 90% of the fucking shit. Now I'm sure you all agree this looks a lot better now. Almost looks like bubblegum. And I love bubblegum. Especially the blue flavour. You know, what is the blue flavour actually? Let me look it up. Well, I've just looked it up on Google and I can't really find... I can't really find anything that it's the flavour supposed to be. That's very interesting. Why don't you guys let me know what you think the blue flavour is in the comments below. Now you might be wondering why I didn't work from the inside out on this bit. To be honest, I just wanted to see how the gold looked with the blue. That's it really, that's all I wanted to see. But it's okay because we can clean it up afterwards because I haven't done anything fancy to the gold. But yeah, usually I would have painted this red and blue before I painted the gold. Originally I was going to do some glazing to try and make a transition for the feathers But because I left this video to the last minute to film I decided instead to opt for a dry brush stippling technique Which I've used before on my fire slayer which I didn't paint on the YouTube channel But the gradient I created using dry brushing and stippling there I'm going to try and transfer over to these feathers
All that's left to do now is add some finishing touches, clean it up, and so let's get on with the reveal. So there we go guys, what do you think? Did I do a good job? I'm very happy with the results. It was a refreshing paint job. Some things I'll do differently for next time. And yeah, there will be a next time. I've got some more lizards I want to paint up. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, remember I'm doing a giveaway that's still going on right now. You can enter, just watch my 100 sub video to find out how you could enter. And yeah, that's about it really. That about wraps it up. So I hope you all have a great weekend. And um, thanks for watching, I hope I'll see you next time.